welcome to TechX Media. We are at Jitex Global 2025, and I am joined by Prince Juneja. He is head of additive manufacturing at Philips. Uh, let's welcome Prince on TechX Media. Pleasure, pleasure. It's great Thank to have you here. So, uh, Prince, let's start with talking about uh, Philips machinery, what it does, and what what kind of presence you have in the Middle East region. Just have to take you 60 years back. Philips started in 1961 mm -hmm. uh, for all the manufacturing solutions provided in the U.S. Started in the U.S. Maryland. So after working there for almost 30 years, Philips expanded it to different territories. First was India. So India, we started around 30 years back, uh, and then we expanded it to other regions. Uh, you know, neighborhood of India, like Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and even Malaysia and Middle East. Middle East, we started around 2016. In 2016, we stored our first machine. Now, I think after eight, nine years, we have more than 300 customers, especially in the machinery side. Subtractive plus additive. So I don't know if you know about, uh, if you follow Formula One, so there's a, uh, there's a team called Haas. So we are one of the largest distributor for Haas CNC's. So yeah, that is how people relate to Philips these days. But yes, so we have sold more than 300, 400 machines in the region when I talk about Middle East. But the interesting part comes now when we are opening our new tech center, the first tech center in the Middle East in Dubai on 4th of November. That is uh, one of one of the dreams come true for all the Philips partners, I would say, because this is what we all have been waiting for after, you know, having all the at the large customer base we have. We needed a tech center where we can actually showcase the machines. So the push for manufacturing is there in the Middle East, either you talk about UAE, Saudi Arabia, all these regions. So we are coming up with a tech center, as I told you, in Dubai and then in Damam, which is almost ready as well. So the push is there. Uh, they want to be self-sufficient when it comes to, you know, uh, manufacturing all the equipment in-house. If I talk about 10 years back, they were entirely dependent on imports. But now there is a there is a huge push from the governments as well. So now manufacturing is booming at the moment and when you talk about Middle East. So I think that's the right decision Philip has taken uh, when it comes to uh, making an investment in a tech center in a city like Dubai. All right. Um, sounds great. Um, uh, would you like to uh, elaborate uh, on the new facility that you're opening uh, next month? Yeah, so the new facility will be consists of mix of subtractive and additive technologies. We will people uh, will get a chance to see the actual uh, machines, whether it is Haas or uh, different uh, subtractive solutions we have and same with additive, either it is EOS, Farm Labs or Mark Forge, all these different brands will be there. So it's it's a mix of subtractive and uh, additive technology, but how we differentiate with with other machine suppliers, or we don't call ourselves as just the distributors of other uh, machinery. We come as a solution provider. We call ourselves that we operationalize manufacturing. That it's not just a, a trade deal. This is not just a machine selling. It is much much more than that. Where we handhold the customer, where we have the local service support, the service engineers, where we actually you know. Uh, handle the customer pretty well that they don't feel okay they were just a trader and we just sold the machine it is much much more than that mm -hmm. that's the kind of relationship we want to build we have been building from last eight years and that's the way ahead when it comes to this territory great stuff uh, prince thank you so much for joining us today it was a pleasure really appreciate thank you thank you thank you for watching